the hell world of YouTube. True crime and death for sake. I have to draw a picture of a damn dream I had this morning. Finally a dream comes in and is very, very friggin' strange. But, um, I have to wait until I uh, bring up the drawing on that. Because I was in some type of building and I got it stuck in my head and I gotta draw it to show it. But, mind you, something was... <laughs> The energy in the dream and what had stuck to me, I don't know, man, it was very, very strange. And the energy, and I tried staying asleep as the thing touched me, but nope, I woke right up out of the dream, so. And that's how much, if it was something from the dead, and it was very freaky looking. Not that anything... Anyways, you know, freaks me out. Like I said, I tried to stay asleep as long as I could to keep that dream going. But as soon as that thing touched me, it was like a jolt. So like I say, lately with dreams and the spirits and they're touching me, they're jolting me. But we'll get into that when I get that picture drawn. And like I say, these, these things, man, these... You know, places I've been going and stuff I've been doing has really been leading me to some things, so. <clears throat> but I always, I, I started talking about the year 1922. And like I said, there was a whole list that I found, but going over it is just a pain in the butt. Because I did find one article, and there are people that have, you know, been missing, but the rest of them is very difficult to look up. And search. I might just do the video of the names, but it's in a book, and the only thing that comes up is a friggin' book, so that someone wrote about. So they must not have had many details back in 1922, say so. But one of the most strangest ones is similar to the Velisca Axe murders in Iowa. And, uh, this one happened supposedly in Germany, and they do say there are similarities to this, but, you know, no one will ever know unless someone gets in there and contacts the spirit or whatnot. And the strangest thing about this case is obviously this is one of the actual photos taken of the room. I didn't really go over this photo, but it does seem something is right there with the camera caught. Whether it be the light shining in through the window right there, these, this whole thing. Hmm. Could be the camera um, and the lighting on that one, but you never know. But the case, and this is one of the most brutalist murders. You know, Hinterkafik, Hinterkafik, I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but <laughs> Hinterkafik, uh, also known as the Gerber, you know, one of them made the Gerber baby. <laughs> Family's farm. And, of course, if anybody knows about the Velisca Axe murders, the guy went in the house, chopped everybody up, and stayed and lived there. So this is something probably no different than that. They even said that it could be the same person that was traveling at the time, but you never know. But once again, here we are, one of these cases that, um... So anyways, like I say, this, um story could be just as well the guy traveling maybe because it did happen in um the football prince went in and never came out that is the main thing about that story I'm trying to find a date 16 years
Um, dang it, what is that? I was trying to find a friggin', I think the Velisca Act for murders happened in like 1912. And this happened, yeah, 1922, 1912. So if this happened to the same person that did it, traveling right back in the day, I mean, it wouldn't have take, took him that many years, but it would have took him, you know, him throughout towns and if there is other murders like this, but never documented is the question. And if that's the case, you can just imagine it, how long this guy roamed the streets. Please. Not being, um, <clears throat> but as I was saying, um, it is unclear if this guy was the same person. Even though, you know, people back then could have caught the news in that town at the time. Whether or not that person was um, traveling, which he probably was, as you can see, is my last video with the alphabet murders. Thanks to Sean to throw that out there. He, you know, um, obviously there's been a lot of traveling serial killers in this world. And it can be rightfully one right, right now as we speak. It's no different in time. But, yeah, this person supposedly started a fire, was eating their food, keeping the pigs and the animals fed, whether or not he was just some sick, demented idiot that just was um, maybe looking for a place to stay or find work and lost it, killed, and whatever it took to do what he wanted to do, but... It just goes to show, man, what this world is capable of and has been going on for decades. I mean, you can just imagine how many more unsolved murders or unsolved serial killers that are out there that just they are not in the books. And because of the simple fact is right that we don't lay the law of the hammer down more than what we should. And I was just, oh, there was another case that just came up. Let me cover that too about a bunch of bullies getting away with beating on a 10 year old girl. That just came up uh, today. My wife was reading it. And we were talking about it today about how this freaking world is just, oh, they see everything that everybody gets away with and does it all, you know. Just to do what they want to do. Just to see how much they can get away with. They put it on TikTok. They put it on Twitter or whatever. Or or um, uh, that other Snapchat. Beating up a 10-year-old girl. So, I mean, if, if the law of the hammer don't get hit down sooner than whatever, I want to go over that case, too. Because, boy, I tell you, it's, it's about the much to make you want to go down to that person's house and bang, bang down and bash down their door and give them more taste of their own friggin' medicine. I mean, when, is, you know what, this, this is sick. I mean, when will it stop? It needs to stop. It just needs to stop. Doesn't matter if it's friggin' the 16, 15, 1400s up to now, present, future. The insanity of the friggin' world is just ridiculously stupid. And, and I mean just this part of it. And all the normal people out there just trying to live their lives, thinking they have friends like this 10-year-old girl is just getting the ass beaten, whooping, tormenting, all the brain, mentalism, depression, things that could be possibly wrong with people right now these days is because of people like this just coming along and doing what they want to do, get away with it. And it was, and these and there were people that seen this smoke running from the house. 
and no one went and checked on his family until it was too late. So once again, we're looking at the piece where everybody needs to keep an eye open. You see something suspicious. You got that gut feeling, man. Something. You need to call or do something. I mean, now we got cell phones. Hopefully your freaking tower ain't knocked you off the freaking block. But hey, it, it's coming to that place where everybody needs to just... Even the police just need to take a little more into seriousness. And in that 10-year-old girl's case, the police pretty much did nothing. So we're going to go over that soon. And uh, this case is just just sick. And I'm about to wonder if this was around the time of the, where the people um, were found naked out in that cold winter. I don't know. If it was in Germany or Europe, but a bunch of people were found, you know, naked, but they were saying that it could have been hypothermia and freezing, um, making you uh, burn at the skin to strip your clothes off type thing. But there were, I was supposed to go over that case too. I wonder if that was around this area at that time. Who knows? Maybe this sickle was around that area and did that and made it look like the hypothermia thermia thing, but a lot of things coming up, little time to do it, but I would like to throw a moment of silence to this family, because they're well long overdue of deserving that. And as for anybody else today thinking they're going to just keep doing what they're doing, get away with bloody murder and think they can just, oh, oh, well, let me just do this and put it on TikTok, Snapchat, whatever they think they're going to do about it. I think y'all better start thinking again because as far as I'm concerned, there should be some kind of vigilante justice. And they're, 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 that did happen, folks. I don't know why it don't happen again, because there is a town out there of a man who was the biggest bully of the town. And that town decided to take matters of their own hands because the police did nothing. That man, well, just, just honestly to say, got what he deserved. Huh? And everybody around, that's right, they didn't know what happened not their fault. Why should they know anything about a bully person that likes to push, rape, steal, kill, and get away with everything? Why Why should the town know what happened to that man? That ain't their problem. They stay far away from that man, right? That's right. <laughs> the Little Things. Remember the Little Things movie. Check that movie out. I like that movie a lot. The little things that should happen. Not the law of the hammer of justice. Because obviously that's been failing us a lot lately. Especially that 10 year old girl, huh? Well, until the next video, be safe, take care, always beware. Because of stuff like this, man, is even as scary as the person being found <laughs> oh yeah never being found like a ghost and disappears just insane what this world has endured for hundreds of years out